You're watching Building Blocks to Blossom, where you will receive inspiring messages that empower you to grow and blossom into the best version of yourself. Grab a cup of coffee, sit back, relax, and be blessed. Hello. Thank you so much for joining in with me today. I'm excited about today's segment of Building Blocks to Blossom. And to start our time together, I would like to share a scripture from James chapter 5, verses 16 through 18, Amplified Version. And it reads as follows. Therefore, confess your sins one to another, your false steps, your offenses, and pray for one another that you may be healed and restored. The heartfelt and persistent prayer of a righteous man, believer, is able to accomplish much when put into action and made effective by God. It is dynamic and can have tremendous power. Elijah was a man with a nature like ours, with the same physical, mental, and spiritual limitations and shortcomings, and he prayed intensely for it not to rain, and it did not rain on the earth for three years and six months. Then he prayed again, and the sky gave rain, and the land produced its crop as usual. May God add a blessing to the hearers of his holy word. And I would like to tag a title to today's video blog, Prayer Matters. We are living in unprecedented time where now more than ever, we must believe that prayer matters. And I would like to share a testimony with you. We just got through talking about uh, reading about Elijah and how he prayed for rain. And I would like to share a testimony with you where me and my husband experienced uh, several years ago when we first bought our property and God blessed us with land that had some beautiful mature trees that had never been touched. And so we wanted to thin out some of those trees and we hired a logging company um, to help us uh, with uh, thinning out some of those trees. And in, in return, we will receive a financial blessing for it. And so after they were hired and they began to work, there was some shady dealings going on to where the logging company had a different thing in mind to try to take more of the trees than what had been agreed upon. And I called my husband who was working in New Orleans at the time and I asked him, I told him, I said, you might want to get down here that something is not going right. And when he got down here to try to deal with the logging company, he actually got the authorities involved and to no avail, it did not uh, go as it needed to go. They were just asked to leave. But yet the logging company had cut down trees that they were not supposed to cut and they were determined that they were going to take them anyway. I remember looking out of the screen window of my sunroom porch and we just felt helpless. We felt helpless like there was nothing that we can do. They had their big heavy machinery and their big 18-wheeler trucks, logging trucks. And I remember saying a very short prayer. I said, Lord, make them leave. And it was in a matter of minutes that the sky began to turn gray and all of a sudden, in about 10, 15 minutes, it began to pour down rain. And the workers continued to try to take the logs that they had cut and they was loading them up on the back of the, the, the logging truck. And the rain came down so torrentially. And before you know it, the wheels of the truck began to sink. The wheels of their heavy tractor began to sink into the mud and sink into the ground. And all we can hear the, 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 the leader out there said, let's get up out of here. This place is cursed. Let's get out of here. 
And they had to stop loading the truck because the more they put a log on it, the more that truck began to sink in the ground. They began to move their equipment and began to move the truck off of our property. And let me tell you, when they got to the end of the road of the property onto the blacktop road, the rain stopped and the sun came out. My husband is a witness that this is a true story. God made them leave. And so I want to encourage you that prayer matters. Sometimes we think that it doesn't matter. I don't care whether it's big or small. Prayer matters. God does care about what we're going through and he does hear and according to his will, he will move on our behalf. So why am I telling you this testimony? I want to give you some building blocks to blossom in prayer, in fervent prayer. Building block number one, feed on God's faithfulness. Refresh your memory of all the miracles, all the things that God has already done in your life. And believe that the same God that did it then is the same God that will do it again. He is awesome and he is wonderful. He's powerful and he is true to his word. So when it feels like you're not getting an answer, when it feels like nothing is happening, that you feel like it's a hopeless situation, feed on God's faithfulness and know that according to his will that he will come through and move on your behalf. Building block number two, turn up the heat. This is not a time for nursery rhyme prayers like, now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. And if I die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul would take. No, it's time to turn up the heat. There's a song that Pastor Jenkins sang, This Means War. I like what he says in his song. You can't have my family. You can't have my breakthrough. I plead the blood. You got to turn up the heat with your prayer with, to provoke God to move. And building block number three, put a praise on it. And advance praise seals the deal. Praise God in advance. Praise God that when it's done, give him the glory. When I tell you that he made those people, those loggers leave off that land, I knew that it was supernatural and that it was nobody but God that made them, that moved on our behalf and did not allow them to rob us of the resources that he blessed us with. God don't give it to you to lose. God don't bless you with it for you to lose. So don't give up on prayer. Don't give up on prayer. It matters. It matters to God. And he want to hear from us. He want to hear what you got to say. Pray and ask God. Pray in his will that his will will be done. And whatever his answer is, it's going to work out for the good. Thank you so much for listening in. I pray that you be encouraged. I pray that a fire is lit under your prayer that you will be able to pray with fervency, pray with intensity, and watch God move. Until next time, God bless.